I used to have, I used to have two twelves in my car, y'all. <laughs> That's how I was. Like, I'm so... 90s music is the only music that will touch my soul. It's the only music that is relatable to me at this point, right? What famous entails at this point now, right? What social media, um, being how it is. Everybody is able... I mean, what's the difference between going... Between, you know, making money on YouTube... And you'll be in so like What's up, family? What's up, family? How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? So today, what we got on the agenda, y'all. So um today is well this video will be out. Let me see. What's today? It was gonna be out on September 14th. So from September 14th to September 28th is 14 days. And on September 28th is your girl's birthday. Hey, y'all know <laughs> I gotta rap. But uh yeah, so I figured why not on the first day of doing this uh 14 days to my birthday? I do a QA, right? Let's do a QA. I've never done a QA and I figure, you know, I gotta fresh family members that have we haven't got any acquainted even i don't even think that the um the, uh, the, the 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 um started from the bottom <laughs> family members have um I, we, we've never done the q a so y'all you know I, I i'm not formal really formal with what i do so what i'm doing is i gotta be some grapes so a mandarin orange, and then I got me some uh, uh, toasted coconut vanilla yogurt from Aldi. Yeah, it ain't it ain't the name brand. I, I ain't doing that. Uh, we gonna go ahead and light these candles, and we gonna set the mood, cause it's finna get good. Y'all, this is a Bath and Body Works candle. Um. And it is Frozen Lake, which is a vibe, vibe, vibe. I love eucalyptus. And so, this has eucalyptus. Plus, it's the fall time. So, you know, I said, why, why not? Like, why not go ahead and, uh, you know, set the mood? Because it's Libra season. Y'all know how we do with Libra season? Libra's is so chilled and laid back, you know? Time to go ahead and cool them Virgos down. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. Do Before we go any further, though, y'all make sure, please, 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 make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Please, 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 make sure to subscribe for you, girl. I see y'all watching, but ain't nobody. Y'all, you a few of y'all subscribe, but not all y'all. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and share it too, so everybody can see how we do it over here in our family, right? All right, let's yes. go ahead and get into it. What is your name? And how old are you? So, y'all notice my channel a little bit of nail. Nail is short for Chanel. So, my name is Chanel. Um, I am 39. I will be 40 September 28th of this year, y'all. Yeah. Your girl got that fountain of youth going on. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, let me quit. Uh, why are you recording this video? So I think I already went over that with y'all. Um, telling y'all why I'm recording. You know, I want to start off my 14 days to two weeks before my birthday. I want to do a informal, you know, Q and A with y'all. Um, just basically getting y'all a little, you know, just telling y'all who I am. Why am I doing this? What do I want from this? You know, that's why I'm doing this video for y'all. Why did I decide to do YouTube? So, I decided to do YouTube. Uh, it originally started, my sister had told me years ago, y'all. Um, my sister told me when I first went natural. So, I've been natural for maybe 12 years or something like that. I've been natural for 12 years. Um, 
And my sister was like, well, sister, you watch all those YouTube videos and stuff with doing natural hair care and you do your hair. I used to do all type of styles in my hair, y'all. My natural hair. She was like, why don't you do uh, YouTube too? Like, I'm like, nah, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't, I ain't have it in me at that time, y'all. So, fast forward to um, my first video I done was 2021, November, something like that. I decided I was going to do YouTube um, that first day because I had lost, at that time, I had lost my brother and I had lost my sister. Now, I'm the oldest, with my mother and father, I'm the oldest of three kids. Um, my sister was 31 when she passed away. My brother was 12, turning 13. Um, the he was supposed to turn 13 in, in a couple of weeks when he passed away. So, I just felt like, you know, YouTube was going to be, YouTube was a, is a, is a, um, it's a digital diary, right? And so when my sister passed away, it really like, it was like, oh, hold on, hold on. I needed something to control, right? Usually when women go through things, you know, the first thing they do is they cut the hair. I, I did my hair. I didn't cut it, but I, I have, my intention was to lock it up. So then I was like, well, no, nah, that didn't work. So then what I decided to do was I started to use, I said, let me go to YouTube, use this as an outlet. This can also be a digital journey. I mean, a, a digital diary for my son, my niece and nephew. Like, I wanted to have, I was thinking about my legacy, y'all. Like, what I was going to leave behind once I passed. Which I know may seem, you know, weird or whatever. Think about it when you pass. But I mean, I had lost two siblings at that time. And I was like, I got I got to figure out something like I need a legacy. Like, that's what I was thinking. I need a legacy to leave behind, right? So, that that's that's what originally started, you know, my, my journey to YouTube. And that's what made me get out of my shit. I was like, you know what? Life is too short. Life too short to be scared. You hear me? It's too short to be scared. So, that's why I decided, you know, to, to, to start doing YouTube. Okay? Do, how many siblings do you have? I have... Uh, so... There is five of us, right? I am the oldest. I am 39, about to be 40. I'm four years older than my... I'm, I'm three years older than my brother, which he's passed away. Uh, so Mookie would have been 37. And then I'm four years older than my sister, Tot, which she would have been 36 this year. Um, her birthday is October 3rd. My brother's birthday is um, July 5th. Then I have two um, two bonus siblings. So I'm not going to call them step because they ain't step. Like they're my siblings. They're my, they're my fa that's my family. So I have a, I have a sister. Tasha is... I think Tasha, oh, is Tasha 40, Tasha gotta be like, I think Tasha like 44 or something like that, Tasha don't kill me, don't kill me, y'all, it's Sabrina, Tasha, when y'all watch it, put that out in the comments, but I ain't gonna tell you, tell your age, but I think, I think Tasha 44, I think my sister is 44, so she's the oldest out of us, five, and then I have, my brother, he he recently passed away. Um, beginning of this year, he would have been so he's forty. He passed away when he was uh, thirty nine. He would have been forty um, August of this year. So I guess it's it's five of us. Only two still uh, on this on this earth that we can see. You know, an injury never dies; it only transfers. Right. Question is, I, how many nieces and nephews do you have? So, I got a slew of them, y'all. So let's count. Um, I am not just an aunt, but I am a great aunt. 
right? I'm a great aunt. Um, so I have in total, my sister has four kids. Um, uh, she has, my, my sister has a daughter and three sons. They are 12, 10, 7, and 4. Um, Tot, my sister Tot, that's my baby sister. Um, my brother Goonie, which he would have been the same age as me. Um, he has, Goonie has three boys. Um, and they are 12. 12 and 10. So he has two boys that are the same age. Uh, they're 12 and 10. The, the two boys, two older boys are 12 and then the um, baby boy is 10. So my brother has three boys. Uh, my sister, Tasha, she has... Um, four kids in total two are still on this earth um her kids who come on now <laughs> how old are they gosh okay let's start with the baby boy so uh well let's start uh, so she precious would have been Precious would have been 21. Aquarius, which is her baby boy, would have been 22. Um, Dad! How old is Richard and Sabrina? What? How old is Richard and Sabrina? 27, 28? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so but they about to be 27, 28, right? Okay. So I knew I knew I knew their age. So my my niece, um my nephew, Richard, is 26. And then my niece, Sabrina, is 27. They'll be 28 and 27 this year. Um, then my greats, I'm a great auntie, y'all. I got a, um, so I have, my niece has three kids. Um, I believe her baby girl is five. Um, the baby boy is, is he eight? And then I think Zaire is 13. Yeah. I think I think my oldest my oldest great nephew is 13. Yeah, yeah, he's 13, which is crazy, right? So that's a slew of them. Slew of them. I got like, what, what we call them, y'all? Four, seven, ten, fourteen, fourteen. I'm an auntie to so fourteen niece and nephews. Let me make sure I mean, I think, I think my nephew got a, I think my nephew got a child too. I think so. I think it's like fifteen. Mm. Yeah, I got 15, 15 nieces and nephews. <sighs> but these kids is getting old. They're getting old. I ain't getting old. All right. Okay. So next question is, are both of your parents still on this green earth? Both of them are. Uh. I have still have both my mother and my father. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I still have both my mother and my father. Um, all of my grandparents have passed on. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, all my grandparents have passed on. But I still have my mother and my father on this earth. So, next question. How many kids do I have? My whole life, yeah. So, I have one child, y'all. I got one biological child. It's my son. Y'all probably seen him. Y'all have seen him on, on, on a couple of videos. Um, yeah, I got one son. He's 21. So, yes, I was young, y'all, having him. I was definitely a teen mom. I had my son when um, I was 18, about to turn 19. Because he was born in, in, in July. I was turning 19 in September. So, I am a single teen mother. Um, and, yeah, he's 21. Next question is, are you an introvert or an extrovert? What y'all think I am, y'all? Huh? Y'all think I'm an extrovert? I told myself I wasn't going to claim this no more because I'm trying to get out of this. But, y'all, true, deep down in me, I am an introvert. I am. But then I think I think I'm more so like I think I have a more like a type C personality, y'all. Because I can I I adjust and I adapt to my environment very well. So when I'm around when I'm in situations or around people that I'm not familiar with or comfortable with. I'm one of the quietest persons in the room. Like, I'm just sitting back, you know, observing. Like, I'm never, you're never going to get me as being that girl where it's like, hey, you know, she the party. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the party. I'm not. Like, I, you know, I get in with the party. Don't get it twisted. But I'm more, I'm, 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 I, I've always been laid back. I've always been quiet. Um, I really, you know, I, I'll talk. Don't get me wrong, I'll talk. And then when I'm comfortable around you, so I'm comfortable around y'all, which is why y'all see more of my, you know, how I am around my family. But even around my family, until I adjust in that space, I'm just going to sit there and I'm just going to walk, just watch and observe. Like, that's just how I am. Like, I got to get a vibe. I got to get a feel for the, the space before I, I, I jump in. Like, I need to watch. I'm very aware of my surroundings. So when I'm out in public, like I'm really not, you know, that that, that social like that. I'm not, y'all. I'm to myself, like for real. Not even just to, like, not even just in public because even at home, like I'm a homebody. I'm a homebody to the core of me, y'all. Give me a good documentary. Y'all know I'm I'm different. You I already know I'm different. Give me a good documentary. House clean, cooked, you know, smelling good, smelling good with the candles lit. House clean, baby, and it's a good time for me. Like that's 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 what I love to do. That's why I love fall so much because fall, you you don't have to have an excuse as to why you sit in the house in the middle of the summertime. Fall, you do that. That's what you do. You cuddle up, you know. You have like like those candles, you know. You may have light your your fireplace and you know turn on me some jazz. Some good R and B music, and that's 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 life for me right there, right? This question is: What type of music do you like? So I like um, I like jazz, which is crazy. Like when my sister passed away, I had to relearn myself, right? So. You know, I was like, let me try some jazz. I love it, y'all. I do, I do, I do. I love jazz. I bought me a record player. I got a few things. I ain't got I ain't got a lot of jazz, so I turn it on on YouTube on my TV. But I, I like jazz, y'all. I do. Now, 90s R&B. 
It's uncomparable to any music. Like, it just is. I'm sorry, y'all. If y'all feel like any other era of music, 90s music can be outshined, it can't, y'all. It's just uncomparable, y'all. I don't care. Even kids nowadays, the music that they recreate is based off of 90s music. Like, it's it's a few music, it's a few people that may take some music from, you know, like the, the 80s and 70s, but the 90s music is just uncomparable. I just, I can't get jiggy with any other slow music because it just, it just, 90s music is the only music that will touch my soul. It's the only music that is relatable to me at this point, right? Let me know in the comments if y'all feel that way. Like, 90s music is the only music that is relatable to all of us. And I don't care what the genre is. 90s is just is what it is. Like, 90s R&B touched me, but I'm sure country, rock, all that 90s music is where, is where it was popping at. Like, there's nothing comparable to it. Not for me. Um, so yeah, I like I like nineties R and B. I like um jazz. And I'm 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 gonna tell y'all something. Y'all know I rap all the time in all my videos. It seems like every time I'm I open up the video, I'm rapping and singing. I'm rapping for the most part. But I love I love gangster rap. Okay. I do. I like gangster rap. I play gangster rap. Um I'm the girl. Back in the day, you may still even catch me nowadays, like at my age. I'm I, with speakers in my car because I used to have I used to have two twelves in my car, y'all. <laughs> That's how I was. Like I'm so hood. yeah, I was hood. <laughs> it still am to the core of me. Boom. Get getting my um. I had a um a grand marquise. Yeah, that's how hood your girl is. I had me a grand marquise. It was ten. I loved that thing. And I had I had some little I had some little eighteen inch rims on it. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was doing something. I had my little eighteen inch rims with my twelves in my car. Ooh, I didn't have no tweeters or nothing like that up in there. Or, 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 you know, no six by nines in it. I think I had, I had, I'm, let me tell you about it. I had two six by nines in the back seat and two twelves in the trunk. I was riding down the street playing that, uh, Webby. I got six twelves. I got six twelves. Hey. <laughs> yeah, like that, that was me. That's how I used to be, y'all. Um, I still be my mama, um, Soccer, um, in my SUV, when get my music though, like I'm that's just gonna be me, me forever. I just, I just, that's just in my DNA, right? How often, um, do you plan on recording or uploading videos? Excuse me, y'all. I um I upload videos twice a week. So I do it on Wednesdays and Sundays are my days. Um on Sundays I usually um do it at seven o'clock, but I'm thinking I may go up to five. Um I don't know. I'm still trying to look at the analytics, but on Wednesdays I usually do it at five o'clock. Um so yeah, usually around that time, afternoon sometime, I am, that's what I'll be posting my videos. So far, um, not sure though, I'm really, my goal though is to, oh, cash that back up y'all, cash that was down. My goal is to um really get more into doing videos, maybe maybe even doing them three times a week. Uh, but we still see y'all. Y'all let me know if y'all want more me to do more than twice a week. Um, are you starting a channel 
Are you starting a YouTube channel for money? No, I'm not. Because y'all know I just got monetized. Um, just, I got monetized at the end of June. I've been doing this for a minute now. I just took it serious though. And one of my videos that I didn't even think would go viral. Well, let me not say viral. I don't know what viral is for y'all. But if I get forty, if I get forty five thousand views on it, fifty thousand views on it, it's viral for me. Okay. Especially with me being a small YouTuber. And I got twenty two hundred um family members right now. Oh yeah. Um that, that's viral for me. Um like I said, I didn't I didn't come into this to get money out of it. I never even thought about it like that. Like I didn't give it I didn't care. It was just this is just a a digital diary for me. But then once I started once I started um once I started to see the impact that I can make in other people's lives It changed the course uh, of my content, right? So y'all, y'all can see in my videos. Um, I initially started off. My first video was talking about. Um, I forgot what I was talking about, y'all. It was something dragging and just you know I was because I was in that space at that time. And nasty. I knew it was gonna be dry. Um, but it was more so talking about me taking care of myself. That's what it was talking about. Me loving myself. Which is funny because I had these same lot. I had these same twists in my head, which my hair is much longer now. But I had twists in my head while I was doing that first original video. Uh, the irony of it. Um but yeah. I, I never had any intentions on making any money off of it. Even at that time, I never even thought about it. Until after, um, I think I did a video. I, I did a, um, I did a class for, um, Peaches McIntyre. Y'all know her. Y'all go ahead. Y'all let me know if y'all know Peaches McIntyre. She a big YouTuber. I did a class with her. And I watched her, you know, come from from this where she was in, you know, she was in the line at the schools, um, getting her kids, you know, the hot lunches. I think that's when the pandemic was going on, getting her kids the hot lunches and, you know, taking, and, and they was giving her bags of groceries and stuff like that. And, you know, she would come on there crying and, you know, just talking about her life. Like, I watched Peach come up. And when I when I seen somebody that I thought was like at that point at that time my mindset was like okay she's average here's the average woman that's just you know struggling and she is able to you know monetize off of this and turn her struggle into a profit I was like okay. And she had something to offer to us. Like, it was very informative. Like, she was transparent with her life. I liked that. I didn't want to... I wanted to do vlogging, but I didn't... And, which I did do vlogging, but... Uh, and I still like vlogging. But what really um, started to captivate people was... When I started doing reviews. Which... 95% of y'all on here came from the reviews. It came from the Timu review that I had when I when I was talking about the one that went viral. But even prior to that, I had done other videos where I got like 10,000 views on them, um, 6,000 or 7,000 views on them from Timu. Um, but that week review that I had that 50,000 views on where I just cut up, y'all. You know? Y'all yeah, know how I do. I just get on here and just say whatever, whatever, whatever comes in my head. What's your plans um, for your YouTube channel? Um, as far as like, 
videos. What's my what's my YouTube channel gonna be about? So I I really really like doing reviews. I do. Um, I like I like that. Like I like getting on there, analyzing things, letting people know what they can what they can expect from them. Um, I like talking my stuff. Like I really do. You y'all know I pop my big one. I'm a pop my big one when it, when it, and especially when it comes to my money. Like I'm really thorough. I'm very I'm thorough when it comes to detail. So I try not to miss out on anything because I want y'all to get the most authentic. And I do it. Everything is impromptu, impromptu with me. So I don't look at the product until until we look at it together. And y'all yeah, get my honest review on it. And sometimes, you know, I say some stuff on there and it don't even be what factually. That's okay, cause I mean, I'm human. I'm I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm just doing impromptu. I don't know what 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 the, what the previous thing would look like or what did I look at the reviews prior to? I don't know. So going forward, um, which y'all can see, I already do a lot of reviews. Anyways, I want I want to do more. So I want to do more reviews. I do. I like it. I love doing reviews. I love giving my honest opinion. Um, I do. Do you plan on starting another YouTube channel? Very much so. I do. I plan on starting a YouTube channel, another one, which I already have. Oh, so let me let me let me let me go back to that uh, third or fourth question it was about my sibling. I mean about my uh, my kids. Um, cause I forgot to leave, I forgot to ask the things in there. Um, my son, I have one son. I am also a foster parent as well, y'all. If y'all didn't know, I am a foster parent. I don't have any placements. Uh, Y'all could see my journey at the beginning before I even started doing reviews. And I still left those videos up there. But I don't know whether or not I would be doing it on this channel here. Like, I don't want to... I don't even know how much I'm going to disclose when I get placements. How much of that I'm going to um, disclose. Because, uh, I don't know. Because y'all know I do... I'm a little different on... on on, on, on when I'm doing these reviews and I don't know how those two will intertwine I don't want no backlash from it so I may not do that I do have another channel though too that I've already I already set up which I have a few more things I have to set up too with like doing like you know Facebook and um Instagram and all that stuff but I want to I definitely want to do another channel with my dog which I have the channel already. It's called Monster and Me. Um, me and my myself and my son will be doing a channel as well. So, um, I am starting a podcast. With myself and my son. Um... Which I think is going to be really, really good. I don't know what, what, what angle we're going to go for just yet, though. Because I'm not sure whether or not we're going to do, like, you know, from our perspective as, um, you know, a single teenage mother and a, 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 a young black man in the society and just talking about everyday topics or... What we're gonna do? Are we just gonna be talking about just random stuff like what's going on in in, in today's world? Um, I don't know what we're gonna do. Whether or not we'll have guests coming on, you know, we really gotta figure out um, just yet what we're gonna do. But I feel like we, you know, I got a lot to say. I got a lot to say, and I don't want to put it all on his YouTube channel because then I feel like it just takes away. I don't want this channel to be diluted with all other things. I want it to be specific to what y'all come for. Y'all let me know if y'all would like to do that. If y'all would like to see a visual podcast, or it doesn't matter if you just, you know, you don't mind just listening to us while y'all riding down the street on the radio or something like that. No, you can still do both, though. But 
I definitely like to get y'all input on what type of what type of stuff would y'all like to see for our like podcast go. We not messy though. Well, I'm not messy. <laughs> So y'all may still get some mess from my son. I don't know. It just depends on how he feeling. Do you hope to be famous one day? What famous entails at this point now, right? What social media, um, being how it is, everybody is able. I mean, what's the difference between going? Between, you know, making money on YouTube and you being a celebrity. Because YouTubers are now, um, they're basically, they celebrities as well. They famous too. Um, but I know, I def- this, is what I, this is what I will say. I want to have, for my channel, I want to, whatever channel I get, I want to, I want to have, I always tell myself I need to have five sources of income right if you're gonna do something you need to do it well so i'm not looking for um i don't do this just off the strength of money but i'm, I'm gonna put my all into it so if i'm on a platform i i want i want the coin like i'm gonna work hard for it so i want that coin to come with it um but for my channels i this channel in itself i definitely want to see myself which it may seem like a lot, but I, I see myself like I want to have two million. I want to have two million subscribers, right? And with having two million subscribers, um, I feel like you're gonna get a lot of uh, notoriety, anyways. Um, I don't know though what whether or not I want to be famous. I don't care to be famous. Like this, just this is not my vibe. This is not. What I will say is that I want to be comfortable when it comes to in in in, in that um that moody that mood eye space on YouTube. Like I want to be comfortable. Um. So I guess I I it's not I guess I guess I would have to be in order to be in that to be able to make you know that thirty thousand dollars a month. Like, some of those YouTubers, they make a million dollars a month. And I'm sure a lot of them, you know, they get sponsorships and stuff like that. So, it's not just all just based off of YouTube, which is fine. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to cut this here, too, while we're doing this. Yeah, I like this girl. I love the place. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, um, I do see myself being a multi-millionaire like off of youtube i do i just do like i feel like i'm i don't have the you know the most amount of family members right now uh which is y'all if y'all don't know that's why i call for the newcomers that's why i call the subscribers y'all call them subscribers i call them family members because y'all be the ones that be rocking with me the hardest so and I feel like, you know, blood don't make you family. The love and support and loyalty does. Like, and I got so many people on here that, come on now, that definitely support me. Why should people follow your channel? They should follow, y'all should follow my channel because I'm popping, right? And I'm not, I'm not here to toot my horn, right? Um, I, I'm, I'm not, um... Conceited, but I am confident. You have to be confident in yourself. Like you got, you gotta be your best. You gotta be your main cheerleader because this comes from within out. You can't look for somebody else to um, push your confidence up. Cause when they stop doing that, where what are you left with? So I know I'm popping, and I'm gonna keep saying that. Like I'm popping. Um, not only that, like, I mean, I'm real. When you come over here, it's authenticity. It, I'm going to show love. Like, I only want the best for my people. Like, I, you ain't, you're not going to come here and get no negative, you know, input. I'm not going to 
send you off and I, I that's that's not that's not what my channel conveys and I don't like that and I can't stand to see it in other channels. So on my channel, it's definitely gonna be authentic over here. You know, we're gonna have some good laughs over here. I'm gonna keep a smile on your face because I'm just ignorant like that sometimes. I, I just say some of the stupidest stuff and it just be like what the hell is she talking about? What you talking about, girl? I don't, I don't know. I just go with it. Like, it just be okay. Well, y'all, at this point, I, the honeymoon stage is over with, y'all. I can't hide who I am. I just can't. I can't hide who I am, right? I, and I see so many of that on other YouTube channels. Let me know, y'all. If y'all feel the same way. You see so many of other YouTube channels where it's just not authentic. And you look at them, you be like, I just wish that they could be themselves. You see the transformation in them. And I don't know whether or not that's because when they are, you know, acting a certain way that maybe their, their video get pushed in the algorithm more or what it is. But they change. And you like, who who this person is? I liked you when you were this way. Even though it's nothing wrong with growth, but it's like you're just changing, like, everything. Like, who are you? Why are you acting like this now? Like. One more question, y'all, because I got y'all, and y'all probably didn't click out, but if y'all haven't clicked off, I just want to thank, thank y'all again, again, again for some support, su support, 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 yeah, support, <laughs> for supporting me. I thank y'all for watching my video all the way through, y'all, because y'all didn't have to, and yet y'all chose to, you know, what is this? I am going vegan. Yeah. Your girl is going vegan. So I think I may do a channel on that, you know, on a high road of veganism. It may be what it is, high road of veganism. Because it's a struggle for me. Y'all see I'm eating yogurt. I don't eat dairy as often, which I'm trying to really cut cut out dairy all together like for real y'all i feel like it's just it's just not doing my body any justice y'all and i don't know the older i get them the less i can tolerate and then not just um dairy but just foods overall i used to eat when i was when i was 18 19 we would get up and eat uh i would get up and eat a whole cake i'm not playing y'all not even just 18 19 but when i was like in my 20s 30s Early 30s. Maybe I get up and eat a whole cake. If I'm cooking that cake for Thanksgiving, I'm going to eat the whole cake. I'm going to eat the whole pot and not have any issues with it. But now if I eat that, it ain't going to be good for me. So I'm I'm really trying to um, go vegan and try to really detox my body because um, I, I, I'm currently taking two medications for my blood pressure. Uh, so I really, I don't want to do that no more. I don't want to take any more medications. I really want to get my body healthy. I really want to have it. You know, I'm already, I'm already curvy though. Y'all don't get it twisted, but I want to have that. I want to have that nice salad like body like I do. So I'm going vegan. Starting off a vegetarian, uh, pescatarian. Well, let me say pescatarian. We're doing mess pescatarian. And then we're going to go into vegetarian. Then we're going to do um, vegan. I don't know how long it's going to take me. I'm not going to put no pressure on it. But I'm definitely cutting out dairy now. So I only eat dairy maybe twice a week or something like that. I haven't eaten any cheese, though, y'all. Um, and maybe, maybe two weeks, which is really good. It's the first time I've had any yogurt. And way over two weeks at this point. Um, I think I haven't had yogurt in maybe like three weeks since I first said I was gonna go vegan. But yeah, I don't want. I don't. I don't I'm cutting out all that stuff. I'm trying to get my body right. I may do a, a YouTube on that. Like I said, uh, podcast coming. I got. A, I'm starting up a new channel, which I already have it set up, which is Monster and Me. It's gonna be me and my dog, my big baby, my American bully. Yeah, because he's a big old hog. And they love Big Hog. They do. They love Big Hog. Every time I put a short up Big Hog with his nutty self, they go crazy over. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna definitely do a video of that. Um Oh, and me and my son are doing we're doing 
um, another YouTube channel, which will be, um, it's called Dining Duo. Um, and so I don't know when he's going vegan, he wants to go vegan, but I, I think what we'll be doing is we'll be going we're gonna be doing reviews on food. I may turn try to turn everything veganism into vegan foods off of fast food. I don't eat a lot of eat a lot of fast food, so we have to see how that how that whole thing works. Um but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a, a food um channel with doing reviews uh with me and my son. With y'all these videos coming up in the next 14 days, y'all definitely see us doing more. Me and my son doing more reviews, food reviews together too, just to see how it works and transition into that. Like your girl got a plate full. You hear me? We got our plate full and um it's gonna be a vibe, y'all. I can't wait. I can't wait for 2024 because I'm going nuts. I'm going nuts. You hear me? Like Sky is the limit for me, like, and I'm definitely going to take it there. I'm talking about going to Jupiter with y'all, y'all, you hear me? We going to go to Jupiter, because I'm going crazy, like, I want, I, I don't want to limit myself, and if it's possible, I'm doing it, and anything and everything is possible, so transition this, vid, transition this YouTube, this channel into just reviews all together, but, but y'all let me know if y'all think that yeah, I would prefer just reviews, but if it was just reviews, I don't know how often I would be able to do them, y'all. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Yeah, we got we got a lot of we got a lot a lot of stuff coming up in store, and I'm gonna definitely let y'all know, you know, what we got popping and where we going with this. Like, we got a lot of stuff coming on, y'all. All right, y'all. So we've been on this thing. We've been talking for one hour. We've been on a tragedy for. I don't know the song, but you know what? Maybe we can be on chill tonight. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.